Hey you guys, welcome back and remember if you are new here to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified with new videos from me and without further uh, talk about all this, let's get going, right? Let's get back in the game and check it out. So as you can see guys we are loaded up and we are back into Walken Lords of Mayhem and we're going to start off with jumping straight into the talent tree and I can show you the build that I've made. I've chosen this uh, soldier road to get some damage to this build right. We got a 20% critical hit chance score here with soldier the wild card. We got 10% attack critical hit chance and spells critical hit chance and uh, critical hit damage as well so we got some crit going here uh, and this is to uh, to build up some damage for this build because it's like half defensive build and half damage dealing build right we got some mods plus 20 ferocity here we got uh, pre we start here on the Praetorian build with robust plus 10% maximum health points. Uh, we're going uh, to pick this road down here to the Kingless Aegis that gives a lot of extra block chance and we got some resistances as, and the reason why I've chosen this is because I want to have extra block chance to survive uh, more easily and I wanna have more resistances because the resistances in this build are actually going to give us damage and you can see here we got more block and more attack damage as well and if you uh, check this out we got the retaliator on the Praetorian this is plus 3% damage per physical resistant percent right and this is 10% to all resistances. So this gives uh, actually 30% damage these two combined, right? So um, as you can see we got some more uh, resistances here and attack damage and we got some health generation because I want to go down here to the assassin uh, so we get some attack speed going for the one-handed that we're going to use and we got some more critical hit and critical hit chance. Critical hit damage and critical hit chance. Just like the beginning here, we're buffing that up to get some crit going uh, to be able to do some damage while we are in this defensive build. And we are going to build up our gear around the resistances, gain more resistances. That means we are going to have an easier way of surviving and we are going to do more damage as well so uh, that's the thought about this build and I think that it's working out pretty well next up we have the, the spells we're going to go through the spells for this build and let's just jump straight into this uh, active skill uh, spell here and uh, this is the active uh, skill tree and you can see that on the right mouse button we have got Anvil's Foe uh, it's a spell where you summon a big hammer and you're smashing it down and doing some damage into the ground and to the enemies. And uh, we've chosen these two skill modifiers. Increased area of effect is one of them to be easier to, then it's going to be easier to hit the targets. And we are going to do improved critical chance on stunned enemies. So we're going to have a focus on stunning the enemies and then bringing the hammer to them, right? To, to do even more damage. We got quite a lot of critical hit chance already just based on our talents uh, and even without the uh, proper gear it's going to do a lot of damage, right? So uh, next up we have the first damage dealing ability, Bleeding Edge and I actually haven't got the, the full, uh, the full uh, level 20 yet on this because it's quite a new build that I made but it's working pretty well at the moment. I've chosen increased area of effect I've chosen increased bleed chance. Uh, I would pick. Uh, I would pick uh, the 
instead of the bleed chance I would pick the level 21 here that uh, I have available really soon but it's working pretty well doing a lot of damage with all the uh, crit and stuff that we have going on for this build so let's go to the next one this is Tracker's Reach this is a hook that you uh, a chained hook that you cast forward and you pull back all the enemies to you and for right now I have increased the range the range so we can hit more targets and I've uh, chosen that the, f the targets that are affected by the hook gets stunned right so again we are going to stun the enemies using this hook uh, and then uh, bring down the hammer to them right so we can pull them in they get stunned and you smash the hammer and you do a ton of damage to them so uh, that's pretty pretty nice and next up we've got the shout the sovereign shout which is a, a powerful war cry that buffs your attack speed and cast speed for 25 percent and uh, as you can see i've chosen the first one here that gives of gives us back some rage because we need to have some rage generator going on so we can keep doing damage and using our smash uh, hammer and stuff like that so this is why i've chosen this first skill modifier and the next one is that uh, enemies hit by this shout they get stacks of weakened so it weakens the mobs pretty pretty mo pr a, a lot actually <laughs> and um, even the bosses th when you go into the expeditions the bosses they get weakened quite a lot and it makes it a bit easier if you are soloing content um, this is actually pretty pretty damn good so uh, we got the uh, last skill that I have here is the wings of Ishmael when you you summon a giant spear and you leap down to the enemies and you sort of uh, smash the spear down and crush them right it does quite a lot of damage and I have chosen to increase the rage that it generates to use this spell and I have chosen that we stun the mobs on impact right so this is also a stunning ability and the hook is a stunning ability and we got some damage increase rage generation going on with the third one at uh, the shout and uh, we're going to do quite a lot of damage as well with the bleeding edge here uh, and that is quite quite nice so this is how I have chosen the active skills for this build and so next up guys we have got the stats for this build and uh, as you can see right here um, I have got, I, you know when you uh, reset your skill points, you need to put in all the points. I have not put any points in Wisdom or Agility. I have put, uh, so I have 156 in Toughness to get quite a lot of Toughness because I wanted to have more health to be able to do a higher, uh, higher dungeons, uh, higher expeditions, right? Uh, and I wanted to have more resistances as a base. Of resistance I wanted to have uh, at least uh, quite a lot so I can survive here at the beginning while I'm getting all my gear and stuff uh, and the rest of the points I have put in ferocity to so gain uh, health regeneration critical hit chance and uh, spell critical hit chance uh, to build that up to get even more damage out of this build right so as you can see, see when I show details, you can see the uh, average damage at the beginning is 767, and I am just, I've just reached uh, level 20, and I've uh, done a few, uh, a few expeditions, and I already done a plus three expedition as well, uh, just with the basic gear that I have. So I know this build is working. You can see it's quite a lot of damage just based on all the plus crit chances that we have. So um, this is the stat build that I'm running with. Next up guys, we're going to talk about the gear. And as you can see right now, uh, I have collected a lot of gear that have all resistances to it. 
and attack speed. So basically you want to have gear that gives you all resistances, gives you health regen, that gives you critical hit chance. Um, and on the rings you want to have some... Uh, I haven't found any rings yet. <laughs> I have a little 14 ring right here, it's kind of embarrassing. But you need to uh, get some rings that gives you flat damage directly or critical hit chance uh, to bring up your damage. You can see here 3 to 5 lightning damage added to attack, something like this. That you're going to need more stuff like this. And I actually found this, um, as you can see, I found this uh, legendary uh, amulet that gives a bit of toughness, gives damage attack to attacks and to spells as well, and uh, critical hit chance also. So that was a pretty, pretty cool find. Um, and I am running with a one-handed called the Apex. I found this in a plus two uh, dungeon and it is quite nice for this build because it has life leech on it as well so I got quite high health regen as long with this along with this uh, life leech uh, and it got plus ferocity that are bringing some damage it got plus to rent damage as well so um, it's working pretty well if you can find a good one-handed uh, it's definitely worth uh, doing this build if you have the proper one handed for it. Uh, right now I'm running with this shield that has all resistances to it which brings in more damage to us and uh, it's the best that I've found so far so I'm going to keep adding more to all resistances. You can see this breastplate level 23 that I have 77 all resistances and 10 ferocity it's actually bringing a lot of damage and it got plus rage as well so it brings in some rage for us when we attack and uh, that's very very good for for this build um, we've got this unique build gives us uh, 20 to all attributes it's pretty damn nice and 13% uh, to critical hit chance attacks and 40% to critical hit chance for spells and 47 plus 47 to magic find uh, so it's quite a nice build as well that I found and uh, again with the feet we got all resistances we got some health regen we got movement speed which is very nice and uh, so basically uh, again what you want to find is health regen gear a uh, gear that gives all resistances, a great one-hander that benefits this build, and flat damage, crit damage on the rings, and uh, then you are actually good to go. And you need to be, uh, you need to just uh, go into harder and harder dungeons and build up this gear, uh, so you know what you're looking for, and uh, just keep going from there, right? Next up we're going to do some gameplay, so we're heading over and picking our, uh, we're just going to do the, uh, yeah, we can do a plus one uh, veteran dungeon here uh, to get started and I will show you what I'm talking about on how we are using the stun ability uh, to actually buff our attacks right. So we want to uh, go in actually with the wings, we can just jump in and they will be stunned. And straight away we can use animals 4 and just devastate those enemies, right? And you can also see here uh, on the damage at the top here, we got uh, 7, 6, 7 damage. If I use my shout now, you can see that we almost got a thousand damage up here. So it is uh, doing a, a quite a fair amount of damage already. So let's just uh, start off with uh, actually stunning. You can see I bring the hammer to them straight after my uh, straight after I land. We already.
already found a yellow item. You can see here, if I use the hook, they are stunned and I can smash them with my hammer and I will do a lot of damage and it was crit damage on those two. And you can also pull them in with a hook and use the number one ability. It's doing quite a lot of damage and as you can see I got good survivability. And on a mob like this, I would jump in and I would use my uh, shout to weaken this guy. See, I use the shout again, he's weakened, and I'm doing more damage to him just with the hammer, right? We got some more loot, so a few, a few uh, gems here as well. Stunned hammer. So this is basically it guys for this build and um, I wish you all good luck with it and uh, try to mingle about with it. You can, uh, if you want to, you can actually, uh, you know, uh, just use it as a base build and uh, use it for leveling up as well and you can use it when you start running these plus dungeons, it's quite a uh, good powerful build that helps you stay alive and do some farming in these dungeons. So um, I would just like to say guys, thank you for watching, remember to like subscribe to my channel for more builds and gears and stuff like that and I will just see you later.